have to have some leverage of competency. The sad part is I have no swag, dog. <laughs> all righty, all righty, all righty. I'm excited about this one. We have one of the other LSU guys, Brian Thomas. I think it's junior or Brian Thomas. Different paperwork. I've seen different things. So just go with Brian Thomas. Um, number 11, LSU, 6'4", 205 pounds. Only played at LSU. 2023, 13, Associated Press All-American. 2023, led to FBS with 17 receiving touchdowns. Third in LSU history. Behind, only behind. Some guy named Jamar Chase with 20. And then this other kid, what's his name? They call him the Jet. I think Justin Jefferson. Best games. Army. Florida. Old Miss. Worst games. Auburn, Missouri, Alabama. What does he do his work? 87%. 888 times out wide. Only 125, 122 times. 12% in the slot, 38 games played, 127 receiving uh, receptions, 1,897 yard receiving yards, 24 total touchdowns, five drops last year, total of 13 in his collegiate career. He had 48 first downs last year, 81 total. My comp, which I generally don't do, but when I was watching his routes, Coley, you know what he remind me of? No. The outstanding route runner for one of my favorite teams, the San Francisco 49ers, Brandon Ayuk. Wow. Definitely a shifty, good route runner with some good hands to catching a football. Has another gear at times. So here's the here's a skinny on on, on Thomas. They say, man, this kid is great. But he's a little quiet. You would say, well, what's wrong with that? And this process in the draft and in the scouting, one of the biggest issues that you can have is when people don't know the why. Mm -hmm. When they can't figure you out, that's sometimes worse. Because when you can't when you can't figure out somebody, when you're investing the kind of money they're investing. They want to know who you are. They want to know, are you a troublemaker or a good kid? But if they don't know if you're a good kid or a troublemaker, and he's not he's not a troublemaker. No. They, he's just a hard read. They're like, he just, they say, hey, how you, he's one of those guys where you say, hey, how you doing? He goes, good. That's it. Yeah, nothing, you can't get anything from that. No. And in this process, when they can't, Put your finger on you, that makes teams nervous. Because they don't know what to do. They in this process, they try to have as much information about you. So when they bring you in the building, they know, okay, we have this guy who's this. We got that guy who's that. When they don't know, they just kind of they they the uncertainty is never good. They don't like uncertainty. That's the that's the only knock. That is the only knock on this kid. And they don't even know if it's a knock yet. It's just a question mark. It's a, a some of the scouts I've talked to. The knock is they're like, man, we can't get a read on. Them. And so I'm going, yeah. what's wrong with that? Because they're nosy. They want to know. <laughs> Inquire minds want to know. Yeah, yeah. They, I mean it. It makes sense. You, you're, like you said, you're investing. This is a, a likely, it's a very likely first round pick. You're investing that kind of capital in a guy. You want to make sure every stone's uh, turned. Yeah, it is, but it is what it is. I like the kid. He, he's very good. Yeah, it I seems like out. corners, corners didn't seem to get a read on him either. No, they didn't. He's so, he's so, uh, he almost seems a little, he's so smooth and effort. Listly, like that you think he's jogging. Right. And then next thing you know, he's even. And you know who when a, when a good receiver's even. He's leaving. He's he's leaving. Shout out too to one of my former teammates and my dog, Brandon LaFell, who had who was uh he's tied 
Uh, LaFell is actually tied with Justin Jefferson for 25 touchdowns at LSU. Um, did you know that? Fell was a baller at co- in college, bro. Yeah, he was great shit. with the pat- pats too. Love JoJo. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. All right. So here we go. Let's do this breakdown. Oh, hold on. I forgot. In a in about a week or two, I will be coming out with my top ten, uh, my board, top ten receivers. The to top, my top from Uno. Two ten. ten. <laughs> we start in Spanish, we end in English. I was gonna That's... say DS. It's DS. But you sure just, is. You, you just kind of doubted my. Uh, you did, huh? You didn't say it, so I. I, I you doubted me, it as you well. You interrupted me. You didn't give me a you, chance. But you I, I, was, I was searching for it though. I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what number I know in Spanish. Ocho nueve. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Senor Smith. Yeah. Uh, senor. Uh, actually, my name in Spanish, Senor Esteban. That is Stevan in Spanish. Mm-hmm. Esteban. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, I do actually want to learn Spanish, uh, but, you know, I'm still figuring out this English thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this down first yeah. before I start branching yeah. off. Hey, hey, maybe I'll learn Spanish when I, when I get a master's degree in speaking English at 50. How about that? All right, let's go. Let's go to this film. I said what y'all thinking, but doesn't matter with me because you li- you're listening to my podcast. I'm not listening mm-hmm. to you. Florida State just sits in the zone, just casual, just casually going forward. Goes through his progression, catches it. Ah, ah. Watch him show his hands, just casual. Hey, hey, ball, ball. <laughs> No hesitation. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, it's Tell a me. it's a Sunday afternoon stroll, but he keeps putting distance between the closest defender. <laughs> yes. Little screen. Mm. Just goes forward. Look at this stop route. Drops his hips. Only thing with these guys that I saw, even with neighbors, they get a little bit too high in their stance, Mm -hmm. but it works for them. Watch this route in the end zone, though. Sheesh. You ain't even funny, bro. Watch it. Ah! ah, Two feet in. Oh, I got the end zone for you, so just so you don't miss it. (laughs) Okay? Look at that. Comes down. Thought he was going to dunk it. And look at his eyes looking at the next play. I just wrote down. I'm just going to let you know right here. <laughs> look, goes inside. Look how, he, look how he lowers his body weight, goes underneath this. Look. Finishing forward. Here's the play right here. Watch this. Okay. There's a player. There, his number is number 14. That's all I'm going to tell you. Here we go. Okay. Bang. Number 14. You see number 14? Sure do. Okay. Watch number 14. Let's put a mixing bowl real quick. Watch number 14. You see, sometimes... this. This is why I talk about the Underwear Olympics. Just because you can run and you can have a fast gauntlet drill doesn't mean that when the real cleats and helmets and shoulder pads come on, it's going to translate to a darn tackle. Watch this. 14. Back pedal's great, right? Ooh, look. Great form. Ooh, watch this. You see that? Oh, yeah. Love how he plays, though. He's just a good for, good freaking football player. He breaks down so smooth. Like, even we've seen with smaller receivers, they're more choppy. It's not as... I don't know stuff. what this... What is this DB <laughs> thing? Look, what? This is, this is clearly cover two. Okay? This is cover two. 
Look, he put his he put that Randy Moss up. Watch this. Terrible Watch throw. Look, look, look at this. Oh boy. Boy, <laughs> oh boy. Look at this. Ew, 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 ew. Look at you could tell the safety thought, oh my guy has him. I don't know what game you watch. No, he don't. <laughs> look at it, look. Gets tipped, catches it. Gets himself square. Then watch this. That's kind of picking shame right there. That's one of the things I am noticing. A lot of these guys are opening up, swinging up the gate a lot. I, is that Todd as well? We were talking about other stuff, like how he's getting up in his stance when he after he breaks down. Yeah, that's is, too. You see, I you see how he has to reload a little bit. Yeah, but they all do it. Look at him. It's all right. a sequence. Right. So is that swivel? Is that swing hip? Is that Todd as well? Ah, it's just we. It's 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 physics. You have to reload to explode. Now, old Miss. So he's still high again. Shit I'm talking about? Yeah. But he's so athletic, even when he makes a mistake, he's still able to recover and almost catches the football. Corner ain't got a chance. Look at this. Ah, jump ball. Tragic. Oh, Miss was getting him. He goes a long way, too. Look how fast he is. Yeah. Five yard hitch. Go. All right. Throws it. Look, look how the corner is so scared of his speed. You see how you see what I'm talking about when you get outside your framework? See the corners outside his framework? Mm -hmm. And see how he has to gather and the transition of his weight. He catches it, goes outside, just puts on the jets. Just something small, man. Mizzou. Sorry guys, but Look at this. Look, there ain't nothing you can do about that corner. That's just genetics. You got to be mad at your mama and daddy. Very quick, but I'm going to just tell you right now. Brian Thomas, he's he's my fifth wide receiver on my big board. Keon Cole has, has dropped a little bit. Um, this kid can play. Uh, like Worthy, uh, Thomas is built. He's, he's moving up a lot of people's boards. And when you look at his film and you see what he's able to do, smooth route runner. Slippery, knows what he's doing. Even when he gets outside his framework, he's still able to put himself back in the mix to be able to utilize his hands, his feet, catches the ball clean, pluckability, smooth, savviness, vertical threat, horizontal threat, run after the catch. This kid can play. Whoever gets him, you can still say, hey, I don't know who he is. Here's who he is. He's a baller. He's going to be your number one wide receiver, whether you like it or not. That's who he's going to be. The kids from the LSU is wide receiver U. It is. And time and time again, they're showing you why. Why? Uh, Cortez Hankton is a wide receivers coach. I play with a, a Hankton family member, Carl Hankton, um, for NO. Man, these guys can play. They know how to coach. They all play wide receiver. And you can see uh, why and how. Uh, when whoever gets Brian Thomas, when you draft him, he's going to make your team better. Brian Thomas, LSU wide receiver. I, I can see him pushing for rookie of the year. That's how good and explosive he, he is and what he can be. Now the team we've talked about with the other guys, the team that's that selected him the most has been Buffalo Bills fans. How would you mm. feel about him and that offense? Wow. I like that. I like that. Yeah. That's smart. I like that. I like that. I. Where's Buffalo picking? Uh, the teens or the 20s? Let's see. He ain't going to be there. Not no 10s and no 20s. No. Mm. No, probably you not. better move up. <laughs> they might. He's not going to be sitting picking. around in the 20s. 28. I, yeah, that's low. I, no, mm -mm, no sorry, yeah. Bob. No, I don't think so. If you if you hoping to get that's you hoping to get a you hoping to get Wagyu steak on a low, that that's not how it works. <laughs> he will not be 
will not be around in the 20s. I see him leaving in the teens. In the teens. Yeah, I just look like feels like a Raiders type of pick. I don't know if that's what they're targeting in this draft, but just the speed they alone. Quarterback, they, they, they need a lot. Quarterback. They need a lot. Uh, Saints of 14 playing opposite Olave mm. and staying in uh, at Louisiana. Mm. Colts at 15. Mm, they need a speed guy. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't hate that. Uh, Seahawks at 16. I don't know that they're looking receiver. No. I wouldn't be surprised if the Seahawks at some point draft a quarterback. Because I think their offense is going to change. True. Jags at 17. They went out and got Gabe Davis. I don't know if they want to double there. I don't know if they're going to be doing the same thing at the next level. No, they they got Tyler Lockett, Gabe, DK, JSN. No, I don't see that happening. Bengals at 18. If they, especially if they trade T. Ah, uh, the Bengals don't want to trade T. Higgins though. They don't want to pay him either, so that's <laughs> you, can't, you can't pay you can't pay a guy who's only since he's drafted he's only dressed fifty fifty two percent of the time. Like I understand that he want you know the, he wants to get paid, but you can't. You, this is me. You can't ask for fifty. You can't be available fifty two percent of the time. Maybe looking for sixty two million. You you can't ask for more than what you're available. But another team would give it to him. That's you know what I mean. Like I, there are plenty of. I, I, I get what you're saying. Teams. Yeah. So that's where it's like it feels like they're in a conflict, and if you can have, we know they love LSU, uh, the, the yeah, Bengals. I, why not? Here's the thing. I don't think they're in a conflict at all. I I think they have sure. made it very clear they're not paying them. And he wants to get paid, and the the miss is him. He doesn't get that he hasn't been available. I I think if he plays this year and can play all 17 games, I think he'll be fine. If he doesn't play 17 games, every game he misses, they're going to say, hey, this is why we should not, or we're going to take a little bit off top. Right. Is it right? Ain't my money, ain't, as my son says, Peyton. Ain't my monkey, ain't my circus. <laughs> In other words, mind your business. Yeah. I shall. All right. Appreciate y'all. Hope you love it. Hope you like it. Hit the subscribe button. Leave your comments. We'll get back to you next week.